Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome 1414 here, and today I received my horror block. This is for April 2016. The only thing I kind of remember that's supposed to be in this is something from Hellraiser. Um, hoping maybe a Hellraiser shirt would be really cool. So, just gonna get it open, see what we got this month. Oh, okay, sweet. Always take a quick look. Just gonna pull the shirt out of here and set it back here for now, save it for the last. Okay, the first thing I see, which is really cool, which is up, uh, okay, it's upside down. It's a Pinhead, a oh, Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth Funko Pop. This is pretty sweet. Don't have any Pinhead Funko Pops. Well, now I do, so it's pretty cool. Very nice. Love this. Alright, next thing we have is a Blu-ray. The Editor. I know absolutely nothing about this. When did this come out? Well, it says 2014. Uh, that might have been when they put it on Blu-ray. I don't know. I've never heard of this movie, The Editor. I will definitely be checking that out. Alright, next thing we have are Graveyard Salt and Pepper Shakers. I'm not going to take them out of here. You can see what they look like on the box. They look pretty cool. It's kind of funny. My mom, I don't know if she still does, but she used to collect salt and pepper shakers. She has a ton of them. Um, I was going to say maybe I could send these to her, but I don't know if she would want them because I don't think she really collects them anymore, even though she still has a lot of salt and pepper shakers. These are really cool, though. I like these. So, awesome. Looks like we have a patch, uh, Cthulhu, horror block, hashtag horror block patch. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Is this like an exclusive thing? It probably is. Okay, Cthulhu patch, and next item we have is the Rude Morgue magazine. Uh, Phantasms on the cover. Very nice. Let's take a quick look through here. What is this? Oh, look at that. Just on the back, it's a uh, advertisement for Horror Block. And there's Leatherface Funko Pop. Pretty nice. Alrighty. Room Org Magazine. Definitely be checking that out. Now, it looks like we have some cards and stuff in here. What is all this? Okay, this is the uh, spoiler for next month. Uh, get excited for the upcoming third season of Showtime original series, Penny Dreadful, with a with an exclusive item in this month's horror block. That's for next month, actually. Uh, this May horror block it brings the terror with an exclusive item from The Omen, along with frightening items for fans of Friday the 13th and Turbo Kid. Okay. Very nice. Got the spoiler card here. I'm going to look at this and show you the shirt and got a couple other little things here. Okay, we got the uh, Blu ray, the Salt and Pepper Shakers, the Cthulhu Patch, the Rue Morgue, and the Pinhead Funko Pop. And what is this? Exclusive phone cases are coming. Head over to nerdblock.com slash account slash login to select your phone model to get your hands on one of these bad boys now. Okay, they apparently Nerdblock has phone cases available. All right, got one more thing here. What is this? Uh, Hello Fresh. Make a moment, make a meal. Thirty-five dollars off your first box. There's a code. Um, yeah, I think I've heard of this before. Isn't this like a food box, recipe box type thing? Okay. Anyways, let's take a look at the shirt. Red, my favorite color. So that's nice. Oh boy. Take a look at this. Uh, yeah, I believe it's 28 days later. Let me look at the card. 28 days later, yeah. Okay, not a big fan of the shirt. Um, I've gotten every horror block that's ever come out except for the very first one. And that was the one where it had a Freddy Krueger t-shirt. And seeing that t-shirt is what actually made me decide to start getting Horror Block. But uh, Horror Block, they're 0 for 2 as far as I'm concerned when it comes to red shirts. Uh, you know, there's this one. 
The other one I can remember is a uh, Wes Craven one that I really do not like at all. I still have it, and yes, I still wear it. Um, I don't know. I really not a big fan of this t-shirt. And another thing I'm just noticing is uh, apparently shirt punch. When it comes to red shirts, they like to do sloppy, hand-drawn stuff on their t-shirts because that's the same thing with the Wes Craven one. That Wes Craven one, uh, you know, had all those characters on there from Wes Craven movies. And to me, it looked like it was something that they just rushed to put together really quickly after he died. You know, try to make a quick buck off of his death. I don't don't like that shirt at all. I know a lot of people do. And I don't like this shirt either. I mean, I'm sure everyone else will, so that's just the way it goes. But uh, that's it for today. That's Horror Block, April 2016. Uh, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check them out. I, you know, regardless, you know, there's always going to be stuff that you don't like in the boxes, but I still think Horror Block is the best. Horror subscription box service out there, they're my favorite. Uh, every month can't be a home run, I guess, so I'll continue to get it, obviously. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.